Well, 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 how you guys doing? Today we're checking out what I'm expecting to be one of the best electronic drum kits in existence, the Drumtech Pro 3, handcrafted in Germany. And before I even say anything else, let's just open some boxes. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So the first thing you'll notice, this is a full drum shell. It's not just a little poo-poo pad. This tom is 10 by seven and a half inches and the shells of this entire kit are made of six plies of birch. Very popular wood in drum shells, if you didn't know. And look at this finish, holy crap. That is a sexy brown sunburst. Chrome plated hardware, yum yum. And these come with the real feel triple ply mesh heads. I have never tried these before, very excited. Ooh. I'll show you the triggering mechanisms inside the drums too, but let's unbox the rest of the kit first. Here we have an eight by seven inch rack tom. And another mount. I will say I am definitely impressed with all the padding they put in here. These to stay protected, yeah? And we got another tom tom. This one is 12 by eight inches. You like? Man, I just love this acoustic look. Love that finish. There's four different finish options on their website right now and I believe they're working on adding some more. And make sure you check out the website after this video because they have a lot more than just this drum set. All right, what's next? Floor tom. Oh, Danya, you have such nice legs. Here we have a 16 by 15 inch floor tom. Where am I gonna put it? I'm running out of room. Okay, this one should be the snare drum. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oh, would you look at that? 14 by seven inch snare drum, deep for Danya. All righty, let's do the bass drums next. And yes, I said bass drums. Now that is a thing of great beauty. Bass drum number two. The symbols that come with this kit are the ATV Artist Series. I've never tried ATV before, but I've heard very good things. And I believe these can all be choked and they all have three trigger zones, which is awesome. So here's a 14 inch symbol. I'll probably make this one a splash or something. Oh, and look at that, two inputs. So I guess, yeah, you can make any one of these a ride symbol if you want, since you have the cup and the edge. Nice. Here we've got full size 14 inch hi-hats. Wait, what is this? Interesting, I guess this hi-hat needs to get plugged into the wall. And we also have cup and edge on this one too. Oh boy. A 17 inch effect symbol, look at that. 17 inch China symbol and it's actually shaped like a China if you can tell. <laughs> That's awesome. And we have an 18 inch ride symbol. Got a whole bunch of cables here so we can plug all the pads into the module. And speaking of modules, what's really nice about drum tech is when you're ordering one of these kits, they let you choose between several high-end modules. So when they were telling me about all the modules they have, they were like, okay, we got the Roland TD whatever, we got the Alesis, blah, 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 we got the Pearl Mimic Pro, we got, I'm like, stop! I want that one. Oh, you're, I can't believe I finally got my hands on this thing. The Pearl Mimic Pro, heavily regarded as one of the best drum modules in the world. There's over 60 drum kits in here. It's got the Steven Slate samples and you have full control of pretty much anything you can think of. Boy, oh boy, oh boy. But yeah, Drum Tech has many modules to choose from. They also have different drum setup configurations too. So let's bring everything over to my icon rack. We'll set it up. Oh my God, it's naked. And while I'm setting up the kit here, I'm gonna tell you guys about My Heritage, who helped make this video possible. My Heritage is one of the best global family history and DNA services out there. You can discover new relatives who share DNA segments with you that were inherited from a common ancestor. And you also get to see the ethnic and geographic origins of your ancestors across over 2,000 regions and 42 ethnicities. That's more than any other DNA test on the market. Just saying. They send you this kit in the mail. It's got two cheek swabs, two vials, and a step-by-step -step manual. Super easy test. Just swab each of your cheeks for 30 seconds, then put the swabs in the vials, then put the vials in the bag, stick that in the envelope, mail it to their lab, and you'll get your results within three to four weeks. Also worth mentioning that they have a privacy policy so they won't ever sell your genetic data. And it's now a few weeks later, my results are in. What do we got? 50% Italian. <laughs> Gabagool. 20% North and West European, that would be this purple area here. 15% Greek and South Italian, the deep South. Almost 10% Spain and Portugal, and three and a half percent Middle Eastern. Was not expecting that. Over 3,000 distant relatives. This is awesome. You guys gotta do this if you haven't already. Use the link below to order yourself a MyHeritage DNA kit and use my code for free shipping. And a little bonus, you can do a 30-day free trial of their best subscription for family history research. And 50% off if you decide to continue it. How about that? Thank you so much, MyHeritage, for sponsoring the video. And uh, let's keep going here, eh? Oh yeah, we still have to check out the triggers inside each drum. We can't forget that. And have a have a look inside. 
die. So for the toms, we've got three triggers that touch the head and also a rim trigger hidden in there. And the configuration of these three main triggers completely eliminates the center hotspot, which is a common issue with some drum pads. That means we get a wider range and more flexibility on the playing surface. Regardless of how tight or loose you have the drum head, the triggers will respond the same way and give you the same accuracy, which is awesome. For the snare drum, this is insane. There's seven sensors in here. <laughs> so we got three in the middle, arranged sort of like the toms, but a little bit closer together. And again, there's no hot spot in the middle. There's a rim trigger and then three more triggers around the edge. These are mounted on a separate ring isolated from the shell. And last but not the least, the bass drum. Ooh. This one is just a single trigger zone installed into the tuning lugs on the top of the drum. And it's precisely aligned, so if you're using a double pedal with one bass drum, the left and right beaters will give it equal sensitivity. I feel like that's something you don't usually get with the really cheap electronic bass drums out there. Oh, yeah. Let's get the module and plug everything in. One eternity later. All right, guys, it's time. Let's fire it up. Damn, look at this touch screen. So we got a Pearl Masters kit. That's a really good sounding crash for uh, for a ride cymbal. And holy crap, dude, these pads are very, very comfortable to play on. Triple ply heads are something else. Metal? Oh, there's that punchy kick. Ooh, the snare too. Biscuit kit, I like biscuits. Nice reverb on there. Yeah! Next kit is called Beauty. Oh, Beauty, eh? I don't, I'm like, I'm kind of at a loss for words right now. How just, how great this is. How good it feels, how accurate the triggers are. Oh, this one's called Dangerous, huh? Dude, so many of these snares are just, wow.
dun, 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 dun. This is the lizard kit, huh? And since this module came from Drum Tech, they souped it up and they added like 28 extra kits or something like that. Because another thing you can do in this module is you can you can make your own kits, of course, but you can also layer for at least the kick and the snare drum. You can layer multiple drums together to get like an extra fat sound. It's oh. So uh, let's check some of these out. Yeah. Oh, the dynamics are just, they're so good. The Drum Tech Custom Big Pearl Kit. God damn, this is like the Rolls Royce cloaca of electronic drum kits. Especially with this module, like the fact that you can play with all the microphones too. Mix everything individually, you can play with the room sound and the ambience. It's, it's like having a VST sampler in a module. There's also MIDI in and out on this thing, so let's see how it responds when we plug it into Easy Drummer. Hell yes. Wow, I'm not used to uh, actually hearing the rim shots in Easy Drummer, that, that's pretty cool. Dude, this kit is so good. I think I'm just gonna leave it set up here for a little bit, do some videos and some live streams with it. Cause yeah, this has gotta be the most accurate and advanced electronic drum kit I have ever used. Like it's actually fucking insane. Excuse my French. Links below in the description, go check out Drum Tech's website. They are actually one of the largest e-drum dealers in the world. They have a lot more than just this kit. They've got all the other major brands as well. But the fact that these shells were, you know, handmade by them using the best components they could find I don't know if you could beat that. So we'll see you next time. And sex. And you also get to see the ethnic and geographic origins of your ancestors across over 2,000 regions and 42... Uh, fuck! <laughs>